There are various places you can find on the Stout Directors Railway, but none of these are as popular as the seaside. A little branch line travels to these beaches, and Eddie, the old engine, runs it. Although he has begun to tire of the heavy trains, jam packed with passengers, especially during the summertime when the demand is high. One day, Eddie reached a point where he couldn't resist complaining to the others. These trips along the seaside line are so tiring. My coaches are filled to the brim with people, making my coaches heavy. That's because you're old. The stout director should put you in a retirement home. No, Gregory. I think he should be scrapped. <laughs> Those engines. The teasing one stop, and it didn't help at all. Eventually, Eddie had to speak to the stout director. The seaside trains are weighing me out. The summer heat, the heavy passengers, and to add to that, the big engines keep teasing me about it. I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone is too busy to help you with your trains. You'll just have to deal with the workload yourself. And Eddie did just that, though he didn't want to. One day, nothing changed. Eddie stopped at all the stations along the line and rested in a siding at the end of the line before turning around and going back until... What the? The ground below Eddie began to sink. Help, I'm sinking! Eddie sank so far that he couldn't get out. Just then, his driver and fireman arrived back from getting refreshments. Gasp! Eddie, are you alright? Well, clearly not. Can't you see I'm in a hole? How are we supposed to get him out of there, Clarence? We've got to make the return journey in 12 minutes. We're so getting fired for this. Soon, Norman arrived with a crane and the stout director. Eddie, you've caused me a massive load of problems that I don't know how to fix. I'm going to get lots of complaints from angry passengers and probably some legal trouble because you decided to pull this stunt. I didn't do any of this. How does a stationary engine intentionally cause a sinkhole to appear directly under it? Hmm, you're right. You two! Yes, sir. You weren't nearby to prevent this from happening. You two are grounded from driving engines for a week. Ah. Listen here, sir. This wasn't my fault or their fault. Or anyone's fault. It's just a natural occurrence that nobody could have predicted or caused. Oh. Well... You two aren't grounded anymore. Oof. So what now? We've got to take these passengers back in two minutes. Don't worry about getting me out of here. Let Norman take the return journey and then worry about me at the end of the day. We cannot waste any more time. Great idea, Eddie. Clarence, Sanders, stay away, Eddie. You need some company. Right, sir. And you, Norman, couple up to the train. Forget about the train. Oh, yay. I get two passengers. Well, Eddie. You just solved all these problems at a single cause within a matter of minutes. It'll be a long day, so get comfortable. I'll try. When Norman stopped at the big station, Gregory was still waiting for Eddie's passengers. He was very confused when he saw Norman. Where's Eddie? Did he break down? It's about time he does. No, he's in a hole right now. Okay. Wait, what, a hole? Yeah, he's fell into a hole at Frontbury. Had to take his passengers for the rest of the day. <laughs> you can't be serious. Dead serious. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I have to tell the others. And he did just that. He told every engine he met on his trip and they told everyone they saw. Meanwhile, Eddie sat in the hole. What do you expect? Screw up putting out his fire because of course there's nothing else to do. You know what, guys? What is it? About that break I've been longing for, I think this is it. It's far from what I expected, but I'm loving it. You're right, this is pretty nice. Well, let's all enjoy this while we can. Throughout the rest of the day, Eddie occasionally saw Norman, and Norman sat nearby to talk to Eddie. The evening came, and the sky became many bright colours as the sun set. As soon as the sun fell beyond the horizon, Norman arrived back. I'm done. Come on, time to get you out of there. It wasn't long before Eddie was freed from the hole and ready to head home. Norman offered to pull his trains the next day while he got repaired. By the time Eddie returned to the sheds, everyone was waiting for him. 
Hey, look, it's Eddie. Let's tease him. Hello there, Eddie. How was your hollow day? <laughs> I enjoyed it very much, thank you for asking. The engines kept teasing him, but Eddie had already fallen asleep. The coaches were still full, the weather hot, and the big engines kept teasing. But Eddie is happier.